Imagine if an SJW got a hold of this stream right now. Oh my, we would be blacklisted. We're, we're canceled. We're canceled. We're canceled. We're canceled. Of course, yeah. If, uh, if Kenobi's a jumbled mess like that, a lot of fans are. Uh, it's not gonna be good. The guy with the guy in the cloak with that with the hood. Just, you know that. Getting anyway, a lot. Of, a lot of people. <laughs> a lot of people are really mad about that, man. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another late night. I am joined, as always, by my faithful co-host. Actually, we haven't seen him for a long time. Everybody, welcome back, Grandma Frisman. Misa back. Oh, <laughs> don't lead off with that. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> good to see you, brother. Hope you're doing good. Good to see you, man. Yeah, welcome back. Welcome back to the uh, the bar, the late night. It's been far too long since we've had one of these, and. Lordy knows we got some stuff to talk about tonight. I've been doing solo some streams. Oh, we got yeah. the Jedi Survivor too. Don't forget about Jedi Survivor. Yeah. Jedi Survivor. We got some stuff leaked for the uh, the Acolyte show, which we're probably going to lead off with. Interested to see what the chat has to say about that. But uh, speaking of chat, hello everybody. What's going on? Leia Rose is here. Ronnie is here. Bill Tackett's here. <clears throat> I don't know who that is. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Darth Maximus is here. Darth Wizzy Wizards here. Brian is here. What's up, my brother? Good to see you. Johnny Wingate is here and already with a super chat. Four ninety nine from Showroom Sabers. Uh, sadly, gonna miss a stream. We'll catch it on a re uh, rewatch on Monday. Much love to you both, and I look forward to Star Wars in twenty twenty three with you all. That makes one of us. I mean, he's really looking forward to Star Wars in twenty twenty three. I'm just kidding. I love you, buddy. I'm looking forward to it, too. We're going to have a lot to talk about. Thank you. Okay. So. So. Where do you want to start? Well, we should, let's start with the Jedi Survivor. Oh, Darth Weaven finally not working. Oh, what my God. Hell? How it's does this happen? Time. Goodness. He must have gotten fired. He still sucks, though. <laughs> must have must have donna hergenrether with a 499 super chat i think i was wrong about avatar i now think it will come out on top but i will not be watching 3 30 in a movie theater sounds terrible Three we, should hours talk, and we should talk a little bit about avatar i'm so before. down to talk about I avatar know, tonight i, I am so excited for that freaking movie i can't and i do remember donna was like she was uh, it was like you're wrong avatar is gonna suck and i'm like you just wait and you watch that movie's going to be successful, and I think it's going to be. I think it's I, going to be. I agree with you. 100%. Yeah. Donna, thank you so much for the donation. I appreciate it. Shit. <laughs> why, okay. did she, why did she get a shit? <laughs> I don't know. I just, <laughs> Is that the I right? think, it's like the first cuss word, and, you know, I, that should be a momentous occasion. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. So um, we can start with Jedi. I kind of want to start with the Acolyte. Let's start. I want to start with the start, Acolyte. Go. Go. Uh, let me all right. Let me get this up on screen. We're gonna take a look at a couple different pictures from the set of Acolyte. Uh, now I don't know if you guys have seen these yet. Uh, here, hold on. Let me move this. I'm gonna move this over here so I can scroll through these with you. These are some leaked photos from the set of Star Wars Acolyte. Now I've made no bones about it that I am not excited about this show. I fucking hate Leslie Headland as a human. Now, it has nothing to do with her body of work, anything like that. It's purely just a human to human kind of hatred. So let's take a look at some pictures from the sets of Acolyte. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. First picture, I'm like, oh, okay. This looks kind of cool. Second picture, I'm like, dude, all right, it's this is not I, looking so I, bad. I, I, you'll never watch it, but it's the Squid Game guy, right? So this 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 actor was. Oh, is that who um, that is? Yeah, yeah, it's the Squid Game actor who who won all kinds of. I almost said acolyte. <laughs> who won uh, all kinds of you know, renown, right? So they, <laughs> this was a, this was them landing their big fish, so to speak, right? They right. really wanted this fella in the series, so that's who he is. I I, I don't know his. I can't tell you his name, but it's here somewhere. But that's him. Okay. All right. So we get these first two pictures. I'm looking at it and I'm like, mm, you and know he's what? He's Amanda. St he's Amanda Steinberg's um, Stenberg's Jedi Master, right? So she's right. the Padawan, and and this fella is her master. 
And it was looking okay. I mean, the colors are a little off for sure. Very, very gold for some reason. And then, and then. <laughs> and then it starts. <laughs> so we get this picture. You know what the, okay. So like we get the uh-oh Oreo hair going on here. It reminds me of the, do you remember in the 90s when they made the peanut butter with the jelly in it? Yes. Yes, yeah, in the, the bottle. Oh, in the bottle. I didn't even think yeah. of that. One hundred percent. It Goobers. just Wasn't reminds me. Yeah, 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 yeah. It just yeah. reminds me of that. So we get that, and then and his, also his like actress, this actress is known also, right? It's it's um, uh, Daphne. Um, this actress, you know her. I don't know who that is. Yes, yes, yes. You know, um, someone in the chat will help me. But uh, you, this actress is known as yeah. a child actress, and she was in the what? Oh, you would as soon as you look it up, you'll know. Daphne, Daphne, somebody help me. All right, I'm or else I'll have to look it up. Now it's gonna be Daphne Keen. Yes, and she comes from. Uh, look at her credits. Logan. Yes, she was the child in Logan. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> Hey, Andrew brings up a good point. Mm. Cultural appropriation there. No, I just like, uh, it's going to be different when it's on screen for sure. But my big beef here, just like the snowboard boots, is the fact that we have fucking normal recurve bows right now. This is what's this well, is what's upsetting me. And also on your point, right, just in, in deference to what we're looking at, right, we're looking at there's no production value behind any of these photos, right? These are literally somebody snuck around and, you know, snapped on phone, photos, you see the blue screen there, et cetera, right? I'm, I'm, in regards to the weaponry and what's happening, I'm I'm with, yeah, I know, right? And no, this, it is to have me. Andrew's like, what, huh? But in, in regards to the weaponry and what's going on, it feels a little weird. We're yeah. in like a time frame, right? This is... What the end of the high republic right it's a hundred yep. years before the phantom menace so they're depicting a a part of the of, of the of the of the time frame that i'm i'm woefully ignorant of right because I, I haven't done anything with the high republic so i don't know if that's the west it's not great i got into it it's i got into it it's not great uh so next picture is padawan uh we got a padawan here he's got the padawan braid this doesn't doesn't bum me out at all okay look i'm seeing the chats right now but her bow is in recurve, it's energy. But Omega has a bow. Wrong! Trust me, I thought about the same thing. I'm like, you know what? It's probably just a light bow. Why are they carrying quivers with fucking arrows in them? Well, it's I mean, you can't bow. really... It's not a light bow. It's not. They literally have quivers with arrows in them. And Katniss right here with the freaking gigantic turd braid i look i was doing so fine i was doing okay go back to you the know, this was like this was like okay this is a little bit much and then it was like okay we're back to normal we're back to normal and then we get the we get the wookie if this doesn't bit, just no, I mean... scream high republic to you the, the, the am i am i the only one that finds the clothing on the wookie to be a little it's it's just a little it's weird it, it is a little weird it's odd yeah you know what it looks the, like and then you the lack of the like? eyeballs it right? looks like a the... like a 70s go-go dress kind of you know what he i mean like, he looks like harry and the hendersons right harry and the hendersons <laughs> here he is <laughs> right for us old farts right i mean i looked at it i was like you know eyes you know he's got i was like i i, I don't know i really don't i really don't oh know my that. god that hit a little too close to home. They look like they're LARPing. Yeah, I mean, it really does have kind of like a, that has a very LARPy feel to it. Like, this looks super LARPy. I don't know. I'm, whoa. Uh-oh. You. <laughs> I was just scrolling through the pictures. What did I do? Even your virus protection is not sure about these pictures. That's right. Strange. That's very strange. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm just not into it. I like uh, this character is pretty dope looking. Yeah, I so like I, think, I, I, I think I think according to the leaks, right? She's the, the, the this this character here is the one they're trying to protect, right? So part of the story talks about 
the village that 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 she's in and the rest of them are in keeps coming under attack, right? And so the Jedi are called in to help them fend off the attack, right? And I think I think the gal with like the horny the ones that the gal in purple, right? I think she's like a big wig, if you will, from the village. Okay, gotcha. I just don't like this. I don't like this. It's not sitting well with me. I mean, look, hey, could I be totally wrong? Sure. <laughs> yeah. And the next picture you had there is supposed to be some kind of a forest speeder. I'm like, yeah, like, I was trying to do the work on that in my brain. Like, okay, how's that thing going to operate? Apparently they stand on that platform. Somehow they stand and they get, it, it looked, a, and it looked, a, it looks a little peculiar. Yeah, it looks a little peculiar. I don't. But again, we're we're seeing a lot of this stuff agnostic of of the I'm, the production value, right? And so, is it possible the story still saves this series? I mean, anything's anything's possible, right? But but yeah, the the costuming here is a little it's a little much for me. Well, look, I mean, I told you my beef with you know my beef with Andorra, the big beef that I had was a lot of the stuff that they did with the prop department, right? This is like already just from pictures. We're like sixteen times way worse than Andor. Yeah, but but again, in, in fairness, right? You you had a problem with the boots and the AK forty seven. They were co they, they're costuming, right? They looked good, in my opinion, in Andor, right? I mean, the cost the fit was good, right? The costuming looked appropriate. It, it wasn't, you know, Mon Mothma looked stunning every time we saw her, right? So I mean, I think. This is, again, out of context, as a guy who went through his childhood at Renaissance fairs, right? This reminded me, I know Nikki said LARPing, right? This reminded me of a Renaissance fair in New Jersey. Shit. That's just what I got from it. <laughs> right? So. Uh, this is, you know, this is going to be the sentiment, too. The story is just going to be amazing. I'm not buying it. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, this definitely helped to temper my expectations going into the show for sure. Um, there was a part of me that was really excited because I'm like, oh, okay, this is like leading up to Phantom Menace. Maybe we we could see some cool stuff in here. Physical you know, set? Maybe, Physical maybe set. we get little Plagueis or something like that. Maybe we get to see a little early, like real, real ass Sith and... Right. I, the, I am now I am now convinced more than ever there will be no Plagueis in this series. Oh, this is 100% a nod <laughs> to the High Republic. That's what this yeah. is. That's what this is. And uh, look, I mean, this will. I think this will be one of the most heavily defended shows by the toxic positive side of the Star Wars fandom. And I am just going to have a field day ripping it apart if it's bad. I have no problem with it. It's and and they're filming. By the way, I'm not sure that this makes it any better, right? But the the location that they're filming at is is one of the same locations they've been filming Willow the, that they filmed the Willow series at. Mm, it's the same. Sense. It's the same overseas location, right? And that and I've been watching that series also, right? And it's it's challenged in some ways as well, um, right? Willow is. Um, the production value is high, I will say, but but the story is a bit. For me, the story has been a bit challenged. So I say, you know, I know people are are you know. I saw Weaven was busting out my balls a little bit about saying, could the story save the show? I'm not sure yet, right? It's possible. It's still possible that they tell a story that we're interested in. If you right? keep reaching that hard, you're going to separate your shoulder, man. You got to be careful. I, I'm just saying. Right, I'm just saying. Put the costuming aside. I don't know. We have this is the it. one that is most egregious to me. Believe me. I remember right. Jennifer Lawrence did start at the strong that's, female that's lead right. trend. So please. I think, yeah, I need to check myself yeah, before I wreck myself give here. Respect yeah, where respect is due. This right. is just a tribute to Jennifer Lawrence here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this, buddy. I don't know what to do. You know, it was like when it was Andor, I wasn't really willing to crap on it because the show had its merits and it really tried to to do the right thing, if that makes sense. This appears to fly completely in the face of that, just from the few pictures that we've seen. So, 
Oh boy, I don't know. I'm with you. <laughs> like, I really don't have anything else to add because because I saw the pictures and I'm like, again, they're they're very they're raw pictures, right? It's, it's this is like... such a good photo to start with, though. I'm like, damn, yeah. this looks cool. Like, well, yeah, yeah. Clearly, he's, clearly he's been surprised by something, right? And they're they're doing what they need to do. Again, it's a, it's a bit of a mystery. This one is also a bit of a mystery thing, right? They're trying to they're trying to track down, you know, what happened and. Why did it happen and who did it and and that's supposed to lead into the whole okay here are the sith and all that kind of stuff and there there's some rumors that yoda will be in the show uh um, yeah i mean it uh, would make sense for the timeline yeah so we'll we'll see on that front right but but i think the daily mail originally broke these pictures which i know isn't maybe one of the most reputable um outlets that exist you know from a from a journalistic perspective but pictures are what they are right someone's like snapping the pictures so imagine a sith is walking into the the woods and this guy pulls his hood down and he's just like i will send you to jesus <laughs> <laughs> yeah emotional damage yeah. i hope not i hope not i haven't watched willow yet i'm gonna be honest with you i'm kind of holding out on it because i never saw the original mm. Well, I, I I don't. You should watch it. You should watch it, and then we should have a discussion about it. I kind of want to. I want to watch the the new one and then watch the original, so that I don't have bad, like that's that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea, actually, right? So there's been three episodes so far. They did a couple of things in this third episode that I was kind of like, why? Why did you? Why why was that the choice? Because again, I think this guy, it's Kasdan is involved, and Ron. How I mean, all they're all involved, right? Well, it's I'm Kasdan's like, kid, isn't it? It's not yeah. actually Lawrence. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a Kasdan, and I think Ron Howard. I mean, they're they're all doing it, right? I'm like, I'm like, did that really? Did you watch it after you did it, right? Like, did that really makes sense. I'm not, it's just very strange. It's very strange. Well, I'll be looking forward to that. Okay, so next up on the roster, skeleton crew yeah any pre-existing thoughts about the show so i i think this is another one where kind of like the acolyte right there we've been led to believe they're telling a new story with new characters right there's been some scuttlebutt here recently that there could be some crossover with ahsoka right and and based upon where the whole skeleton crew is taking place the series is taking place in the galaxy um it, it could be interesting but it definitely sounds like you know they're trying to tell a new story with new characters right traditionally that's been their boondoggle if you will right that's been what they've done the best from a disney star wars perspective right new story their own characters right um so and i love jude law by the way i'm a huge jude law fan well jude law is great uh the only thing that kind of confuses and or worries me and or worries me <laughs> is that um i mean as we've spoken about it this is supposed to take place in a a new place in the galaxy right it's it's the unknown regions i think but they're not calling it that's not a new place though well that's why i say they're it we've been led to believe it's the unknown regions but i think it's new space right or unknown space or a new place right something something they're trying to i think they're trying to disenfranchise themselves from some of the some of the legends speak right now they i think they used unknown regions in rebels right i'd have to go back and watch the end of rebels again to figure out if they speculated where Thrawn and Ezra ended up did they actually say unknown regions did they say new space whatever they said there I'm I mean it sure would have been wild space probably because wild space wild is, space yeah wild space is very much uh, kind of an EU thing but they they seem to be leaning into the magical aspects of what we know of as the force right and and that being you think they're going for like the wills kind of thing I, I think it's more night sistery, right? I think oh. it's more magically delicious, if you will. Right? I will I will hate that. Yeah. That's, well, that's but I mean, you. if you think about Morgan Elspeth in um, 
in the Mandalorian, right? That that, that, that character, there was some speculation that she might be a night sister, right? And remember, Ahsoka was questioning her quite heavily. Where is Thrawn? Where is Thrawn? They they seem to be putting together a narrative that that talks about us witnessing in live action. Aren't all the Night Sisters Dathomirian though? As far as we know. I was like an Asian lady. As as far as we know, <laughs> right? But now I think they're 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 kind of trying to say. Did they start on Dathomir? Did they end up there? You know, how did all that work? And it seems like they might be trying to tell us a little bit more about the magical side of the Force in Skeleton Crew. And then the speculation goes on to say maybe in Ahsoka as well. Yeah. I don't know if I like that. I'll be honest with you. I mean, it's a cool it's a cool play, but <clears throat> I feel like we spent so much time getting away from what Star Wars is that we're forgetting what Star Wars was. Does that make sense? Well, yeah, because I think they're trying to, they're trying in, in their effort to expand the franchise for broader appeal, they do seem to be moving further and further away from some of the original appeal, right? I, I kind of feel like now they're like, well, we gave them Kenobi, check. Right, you know, we gave them... Well, we you gave certainly gave us that. a fucking version of Kenobi. <laughs> but from a serious standpoint, right, we gave them Kenobi. Right, I'm, I'm guessing, right? So now they're like, so now we can do whatever we want, right, to try and to try and take it into different places and, and to do different things with it. And on your point, for some folks, what they gave us in Kenobi didn't do it. No. It didn't even begin to do it. I mean, we got Wade, which I think was the most important thing that we should have taken from the <laughs> series was Wade. Just for Wade. Yeah. Uh, showroom pop back in saying uh, new space or whatever it's called is going to be insane. Any chance Dave and John just male heir to the Empire? Just male heir to the Empire and just not say anything about the sequels? Oh, no, just make. Just make heir to the Empire and just don't I, say anything I, about the sequels. I'm, yeah, I'm, I don't think so. Unfortunately, I think there's next to no chance they're doing Heir to the Empire, right? Well, I, I, well, I mean, look, here's the deal that's kind of crazy is that in the end of Bad Batch, we got Tantus. We got Mount Tantus, right? And that's like, that is Heir to the Empire, 100%. So, I, I mean, I'm assuming that Bad Batch is canon. So if that's true, then they've canonized at least a portion of Heir to the Empire. Well, that's what I was going to say, right? We got Mount Tantus, yes, right? But does that mean... Yeah, and that comes from Heir to Empire, granted, right? But I don't think we can skip ahead to say Joris Hot, you know, all the rest of the stuff that we've come to expect as a part of Heir to the Empire is going to make an appearance. Right. I, I don't think they're going there. It's I so really much better, don't. though. It's not theirs. I know, that's why it's good. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying, like, uh, you know, I, it, it's still always going to elude me as a human being when you have a wealth of stories that you can pull from that are already successful and just ad adapt those. Don't adapt too hard, but I mean, adapt them to live screen. Why would I you mean, do that? The, the, big, the biggest problem is not enough source material, right? So, I mean, There's if they no only, had, only had more source material that they acknowledged <laughs> exists... Right, we would be a lot better off. So, well, who needs source material when John Favreau can just, you know, write out Book yeah. of Boba Fett in a night? Right? Look oh, at how well funny. that worked out. You know, they're really talking about doing a season two. You know what? I I really hope they do. I've I've changed my tune on this. Did you see what Tamara said? I did. Yeah, right? I'm and, with and him. I and I'm like, I will watch Book of Boba Fett season two, wholly because Tamara Morrison is a Star Wars gem. Yeah, right. he and, deserves a comeback. And and I, I think we're going to see that in Mando 3, by the way. You know, earlier today in the EBN streams, like, well, at least Mando 3 is not going to Tatooine. I'm like, <laughs> you ah, think it's not? You think. <laughs> oh, come on. It's going we're to gonna Tatooine, up, for they're, sure. They're gonna, you're going to find a whole cadre of Mandos there, and they're going to pick Boba Fett and Fennec. I mean, come on, man. Really? You know, I thought I saw him in the Mando 3 teaser. There's a spot, like, right after they drop out of the ship, and they're all kind of moving forward and shooting. I'm like, I swear I see Boba there. We're, we're going to see Boba Fett's story. I, I predict, and I don't think this is like a clairvoyant prediction, right? We're going to see Boba Fett's story continue in Mando 3, 
And I think he's going to be kick ass again, right? And if they're going to, if that's the version of Boba they want to bring us for a season two, absolutely, I'll watch it. Yeah. Like, it, I just, I just hated Book of Boba Fett's portrayal of Boba Fett so much. It was a complete disservice to the character, um, much the same as as Kenobi was. It was a disservice to the character, and it's uh, you know it's infuriating because it's like oh now it's gone. You know what I mean? Like it's done and gone. It's over, and there's no going back. That's the part that kind of drives me nuts. And it's the not same to, thing with the big three in the sequel trilogy. And not to mention the disservice they did to two seasons of the Mandalorian, right? And I'm not over it, and I will not get over it. That's right? a hot oh. point for you. The, the whole treatment of Grogu back to the Jedi, get him back to the Jedi, and then what they what they shoehorned into the, the Book of Boba Fett in two episodes, it, it, to me it's inexcusable. And, it, and, and not only that, if that wasn't bad enough, somehow they have to recap it and tell us about it again in Mando 3. Otherwise, people who never watched Book of Boba Fett are not going to understand what no the fuck is going on. Yeah. Right, so I'm like, so, so insult to injury, right? I have to endure it again. It wasn't bad enough one time. Whew. Awful. I like Grogu. I like the little bastard. We oh, still haven't gotten any answers as to what happened that night in the Jedi Temple. I've I've almost stopped caring. Really. That was such a big selling point was that it was there was a tie to the prequel trilogy there. So why know? didn't they tell that story in Book of Boba Fett? Why didn't they if they were going to put Grogu somewhere, why not give him his give him that backstory in Book of Boba Fett? Not this whole not only did they I'm getting hot and bothered again about why is always <laughs> happening? Not not only did they diminish the payoff of the first two seasons of why we're trying to get Grogu back to a Jedi, then they bitched Luke out again, right? Yeah. After he came back, kicking ass, dark troopers and all that. Now here he is all of a sudden again talking about attachment when it was a totally not his thing. I, I, ju I just don't understand those decisions. And for that reason, I absolutely 100% despise Book of Boba Fett. It has nothing to do with Tim. God bless him. Right, that no, series, Tim's not the problem. That series is one huge L for me. And and the whole Tuscan nonsense and all the rest of that as I was going through was just again, just part of the pain. There some of the Tuscan stuff I was okay with. Other parts I'm like, what are we doing here, guys? <laughs> what is going on here? How do, how does the bounty hunter that is the most feared man in the galaxy untrained in martial combat? with a weapon right like he's getting his ass beat i'm like you are literally the most dangerous man in the galaxy and you're getting your butt beat with a stick like you can't tell me he doesn't know hand-to-hand -hand combat just because he uses a blaster i say bullshit good sir bullshit i'm 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 just like I mean, you know people are like well you know you kind of i in comparison to book of boba fett kenobi is top notch I, I hate that's how much I hate it. They ruined the start. We're going to continue on with this conversation without terrible and toxic conversation like that. <laughs> Listen, they ruined the Star Destroyer in Kenobi, and it's still better than the book of Boba Fett. How do you ruin a Star Destroyer? I can't. I can't. I can't. Like, the damage that's done with Kenobi is so much worse than Boba Fett. And they never launched one fucking TIE fighter! Not one! They this ruined is true. the Star Destroyer. They never launched anything. And in Andor, they're launching TIE fighters all over the fucking place. <laughs> I just don't understand it. Something I tells me you feel strongly about this. I don't make, I don't get it. I don't not get it. Well, okay. it's over. You don't have to relive your personal hell anymore. I'm sorry. But yeah, I think, uh, I honestly do think a season two, uh, ugh, look, it's so hard, dude. I don't, I can't trust him now. I, I don't want Favreau to write it. Give me a Who season two. Who would you have write it? I, anyone other than Favreau. Like Tony <laughs> Gilroy. No, it doesn't have to be Tony. I don't think, I, I think Tony Gilroy could have wrote a really good Godfather-esque book of Boba Fett, right? But oh, 100%. 
I don't think Tony Gilroy is our writing savior, and I don't think he wants to write anything else, right? Let it, let him finish Andor 2 and take a break, right? But but to me, Favreau proved, whether he had external influences or not, right? Favreau proved he didn't write a great Book of Boba Fett story. He just didn't. No, and it was chopped up, too. You could tell it was chopped up. Just, Just so... Mid AF, put it on the bingo card, Nikki. Mid AF. Wow, look at right? you. I'm like, I'm like, what? I, I just don't. I really wish I had the Doctor Evil clip right now. <laughs> I'm hip. I'm cool. Right. Look, <laughs> I'm using, I'm, I used it right, didn't I? I'm using the new lingo. Oh. No, I mean, I'm like, really? Come on. Shit, I don't even know. Like, I can't even tell you that. Like. How did we get? How did you get me ranting? How did you get me ranting again? I just on... say the name Book of Boba Fett, and we're on that for a fucking hour. That's like the next hour we're gonna be talking about Book of Boba Fett. No, what I... you do, Jedi Survivor? Please take us to a more. Okay. Even though you got your High Republic in Jedi Survivor too, take us to a more positive place. Oh, buddy. Yeah. So, I mean, look, that was the thing. We got. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's go to Jedi Survivor. Do we want to do the the trailer together? Yeah. Let's run it. These poor souls have stuck with us this long. They're not going. I don't know why, but I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. I, 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 I watching the chat and all our everyone that keeps coming back time and time again to see me get red in the face about Book of Boba Fett and all this. It's just kind of your thing. It's what you do. I guess. Okay. Let's do a Chrome tab. Here we go. Okay. Let's take a look. Gotta turn the music down here. <sighs> this is just as frustrating. The order is gone. I was betrayed by the one I trusted most. I will. That's Omega. No, this is the high. This is the High Republic. Whether he's a Jedi or not, right? This is the one we'll see later in the gold robes. That's him. Right. We do see him in the gold robes later. Okay. So we got some Magna Guards. That's kind of cool that we got a Magna Guard. Well, we knew that from the Toy League, right? That the Magna Guards were coming back. So. No, I don't remember that from the Toy League. Yeah, there was a Toy League about it. No, you know what I, was that a K? That was another K two again. Yeah. There was a K two, but did you miss the the other saber? Is totally Jaro Tapal's other half. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Look at the emitter. Yeah, and, and then this, these stupid. This is a down... different. This is a different fella right here. So this is because they put up on StarWars.com. They put up their storyboard, and it says um, this one says something like Cal meets a new enemy. So this is not the guy from the tank. This is not the other Thanos looking guy. This is some other guy that's here um, in this particular part of the story that we don't know who he is. Mm. And so where's the pilot guy? The pilot guy? Did I miss what happened to the pilot guy? Did something Did happen to him in the last one? Yeah, he died, didn't he? I oh wait, no. I'm thinking of the. I'm thinking of the other pilot guy. I'm thinking I don't about think Solo. He, died. he got shot in Solo. And then this, the the caption below this one was um, Cal and BD overlook an untamed land. I know some folks have speculated it's Batu because they got to get Batu in here. That's what I said. I'm like, bruh. I guarantee but, that's Black Spire Outpost. But at least up to this point, it just said an untamed land. You can see the Halcyon up there. Oh, God, please. I hear you've been busy making yourself... Why did they turn her into the Warrior Queen? The Wakanda Forever? And 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 which which archives are these, right? This is obviously not... There's not it's a not Jedi, Jedi temple. temple. Yeah. And then you'll see, in a minute, you'll see the the person with the, the head and the, 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 the... Her helper. There's something relevant about the helper, right? That, that you'll is she, see like, evil now? No, 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 no. It said it said he goes to her for guidance. So she's still, I think she's still on the up and up. Okay. Herself the Empire's most wanted. Well, it wasn't quite there, but in the, in the that was cool, right? Holding them to 
Oh, was this supposed to be that? This isn't. No, I was going to say for a minute there. I thought no. this was the Canto bite, um, the Canto bite horse things. But no, 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 no. But the, isn't this like totally a Final Fantasy thing? Wasn't there like a big bird you rode around in Final yeah. Fantasy? I don't know. I never played one. So some uh, B ones. Mm-hmm. Glad to see some B ones. Yep. And this reminds me of you playing Fortnite, right? You're flying in on the Fortnite thing, right? Trying to drop into the, right? Isn't that trying to drop into the map? It's a literal fucking pterodactyl. Yeah. It's a pterodactyl. Like, and now is this the same untamed land that they were yeah, looking 100%. at before? Yep. Yep. Because yeah. here the thing in the back now is yeah, because that more... the building matches right there. Yeah. This to me looks a little bit more like that too than the last one did, by the way. Please I'm not don't. saying it is. I'm just saying. Just don't. Like, just don't. That's all you have to do is not do that, and it'll be fine. A Jedi. Now, so th this this fella on the right is apparently I forget I forget his name for him, right? But they're like a near Thoughts immortal. Of Loving, thank you. Thoughts of <laughs> they're like a near immortal species, right? That that lives for a long time in the suit that he's in. The guy on the New, right. Numenorians. You know who they are. Yeah, it's a Numenorian. Yeah, they live on Numenor. You're making that shit up. But there's a name. <laughs> there's... Lord of the Rings. <laughs> You're making that. But no, this 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 there's a th there is some lore behind this guy that I didn't that I didn't know. Okay. I thought it was Thanos, right? No. Okay, it's not Thanos. I didn't know if they were doing like a cross. I mean, we got pterodactyls, so I didn't know if they were doing like a crossover thing or <laughs> Remind our friend here why his god are supposed to be dead. It's gorgeous. Yeah, no, they did a I great job. That. They did a great job, as always, right, with the cinematic, with the, the landscapes and all of that stuff. It looks amazing. And that is not uh, Arabesh up there. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. But remember, this... this the other reason why they can get away with this, right, is it only runs on next gen consoles or right. kick ass PCs, right? You can't even play this on PS4 and all the rest of it. So, Here we go. after all we've done, the Wampa, like Wampa, Wampa, Wampa. I love it. I love it. I love having a Wampa. The forest Wampa. Wampa. I was like, is that a Wampa? What the hell? No, because I, I totally got taken back to Shadows of the Empire because you remember they had the brown wampas in Shadow of the Empire. So uh, loving the representation. Oh. Loving the representation. <laughs> he just was at least just dragging Cal around. How is he not fucking dead after that? That is so great. The Empire's only grown stronger. That's Those a dark are, These are like the early dark troopers, right? Yeah, but what's dumb is that early dark troopers were supposed to have humans in them. I know. They were either clones or they were super messed up stormtroopers, one of the two. <laughs> Did you want to shoot what what go back for what is shooting at him there? Dude, it's, it's a TIE fighter. It's a, the, it sounds the, like a TIE fighter. But the bolts of a TIE fighter shouldn't be red, should they? No, they shouldn't be. And, oh, you know what it is? It's one of those transports. You remember yeah. from the first game? Yeah, I was gonna say it's it's a ship of some kind. I know he's in a hangar, right? But I don't. It's think one of those inquisitor fighter. ships, like. Oh, there uh, you go. Well, yeah, because I think we'll see the fifth brother, right? Because the book that's coming out, interesting, right? In the first teaser, we saw um, that the 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 the, um, the the senator that we thought was possibly the Grand Inquisitor. That's not. Then we saw his lightsaber in a box, right? Cal's lightsaber in a box. There was a few things from there. We saw a we saw a dark side force user with the red lightsaber. There's a few things in that original teaser that they didn't bring back here, right? They didn't just combine them. Um, <laughs> they didn't combine them together. Um, which I thought was interesting, right? So if you didn't watch that first teaser, all the things I'm now rambling about, you wouldn't even know they're a part of the game. Was that Kashyyyk? So um, no. No. No, no, no. no, that's not Kashyyyk. Uh, it looks like it, though. Good the Empire has only grown stronger. I love the hangar scenes. Who's this fucking guy? Why so is this Gaston guy, this in guy, this game? This Why is guy, Gaston he's a, in the game? He's, an, he's a new companion character, and my fun fact about this guy 
is the voice actor who voices him is the same voice actor that voices um, Vice Admiral Rampart in Bad Batch. Oh, okay. He looks like Gaston. His name is something Akuna. I have to look it up again. Akuna Matata. No, it's Akuna. <laughs> okay, Akuna. Gaston. It's something weird. But yeah, he's. I think I think he's Cal's nice boyfriend. Bode. Bode, Bode, Bode Akuna. The joke is so dumb. You have a gun in your hand, okay? You have a gun in your hand. You could literally just shoot him right there. Well, that wouldn't be as cool, though, right? It's yeah, giving Bode. it's giving Boba uh, Boba Fett spin vibes. You know Ruz, I mean? Ruz has got it. <laughs> Bode, Bode Bode Akuna, voiced by the same voice actor that does Rampart. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, not really getting it, but that's okay. Maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe scout troopers have uh, some kind of a battery in this side of their helmet, and so shooting them is impractical. You're better off just kicking them on the side of the head. I don't know. The Jedi is a threat. Now that we have this. This is the guy. That, so we, there's speculation that this is a flashback, right? But gold, high republic robed guy. Right. The guy that he freed from the back to tank. Yes. I feel like that was poorly executed too. I'm just going to say, I'm, I know I'm like pooping on this a lot. Uh, I'm totally going to play the game. I'm going to play the game. But like if you're shooting for a trailer, why would you do a move where you're still like you're clearly going to get shot right in the chest? I, I have to tell you honestly, <laughs> I, I, I thought that. And I know the point of this is supposed to highlight gameplay. I get it. Yeah. But for me, I thought the cinematic teaser trailer they did was much more engaging than this yeah. trailer was. Yeah. You never show gameplay. Never go full retard. Well, yeah. You know, as long as we fight. So that's a mechanic that comes back from the first one. And then we get this. <laughs> da -na -na, da -na -na. Spider Man. Da -na 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 -na. You don't have to do that. You don't have to have a web sling in Kestis. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, again, I think they're they may be reaching a little bit too hard to me to try and give us more interesting gameplay mechanics, right? Because we know he's going to get a blaster, and you know the whole flip the guy over and some of the other stuff. I'm kind of like, just because you can do it doesn't mean you have to. Yes, Yaddy, we are. <laughs> You're lucky I'm not showing a golf video. Okay. Here's your favorite part. And you know, right? You know those lightsabers. These, 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 these cross-piece lightsabers, right? They're also from... They, they predate the High Republic, I think, right? But they're... So I'm speculating that this lightsaber he's found is Gold Robes Dude's lightsaber. That's my speculation. Because at some point, his lightsaber gets in the box that that senator has, right? So at some point, somebody gets his lightsaber. Why does it have Jaro Tapal's emitter? I don't know. <laughs> good, good. Yeah, I don't like this. <laughs> I'm shocked to hear that. Absolutely uh, shocked. Yeah, I don't like this at all. Um, again, still to this day, I think it's the dumbest thing that Disney's ever done. Is is what's the word I'm looking for? Not canonized, not regularized, but just just making a cross guard saber is so fucking stupid. Like it's so dumb. I just I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't it's get gi it. It's ginormous, right? The blade. And when you'll see it here in a second, I'm like, God, look at the size of that thing. <laughs> That's what she said. Like, but the... It's like just such a huge saber. I'm like, what is going on? Uh... It's a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be. Perfect. Just perfect. He looks stoned as hell when he does that, by the way. I don't know if anybody else. Yeah, he does. He looks like, really Whoa, dude. 
Like, look. There's like two little ones that come off the side. Gnarly, man. <laughs> oh, my. <God. laughs> Hitting the stems too hard with me. <laughs> so, yeah. Hope survives. Look at it. Look at the size of the thing. It's, just, it's so giant. Look at how big it is. There's, how does that <laughs> You can't, like, you can't fit that thing into anything. Look at the size of it. It's ridiculous. It's a stretchy saber. When you swing it, it gets longer. You it's know what I mean? Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> well, we got some assassin droids here. That's kind of cool. Yeah, but they're gonna be cut to shreds by this thing. You weren't kidding, man. Look at it. Oh my god. <laughs> it's it's criminal. Let's go to super slow-mo on this <laughs> why did you bring that up i'm never gonna be able to unsee it. it's ridiculously big <laughs> okay all right <laughs> that noise is terrible It's like, what is going on with this thing? I never saw that. Interesting. Yeah, definitely a uh, chunky. I don't know. I do not know. You always ruin stuff for me, dude. Mm. I, I'm here to make sure you can hate things with the greatest efficacy, right? I want to make sure you haven't missed anything to hate. I really appreciate it. Yeah, happy to help. Did you see what they uh, what they put out for uh, pre order content? Yeah, so it's interesting, right? So it's what three hundred bucks, and it comes with wait what? Yeah, it's a three hundred buck. It's a three hundred buck investment, isn't it? Three hundred dollars. Yeah, and it comes with the um, the steel book. Okay, because some some physical collectors like like the steel book. It comes with a different. It comes with the. It comes with. Oh, it comes with a lightsaber. Yeah, it comes with the Cal, Cal Cal Kestis hilt that 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 he came out with when he was petrified on the stage. He was so adorable. <laughs> he was so nervous, but that version that he came out with, not the broken ended version, but the nice one. That's in there. No blade though. You don't get a blade for 300 bucks. No blade. So you got to put another 50 bucks into it if you want the fucking blade. Right, and then it comes. I mean, that do that doesn't surprise me at all. Yeah, it's and it comes standard. with a box to put the. So again, I think I think someone said um, the the um, here we go two ninety nine. You get the um, you know the the game the deluxe version of the game. Whether or not the steel book, how you get that, I don't know. Is ninety bucks. The Cal Kestis hilt, which the broken one comes with. You can take the broken part off, and it comes with the actual finished part. That's one hundred and fifty bucks. Yeah, that fucking it. box is kind of dope, though. Well, this is the the reason why everyone's like, why is the imperial symbol on the box? It's because they they that senator guy somehow gets his saber and gives it to the empire, and that's why the box looks that way. But this is not being sold at Galaxy's Edge yet. So the only way to get yeah, I can tell hilt, because the, the saber will fit in a human's hand. The only way to get this hilt is through this special. So ninety bucks on the on the collector's steel book, hundred and fifty bucks you figure on this. So it's a two hundred and fifty dollar street price. So you're paying fifty bucks to get the exclusivity, and then there's shipping involved. But again, the blade will cost you another fifty bucks more. You know who I feel really bad for, and this is why I feel like I do have some kind of like an honest responsibility to the Star Wars fan base. People who think this is like a great deal. It's it's not a great deal, right? But but if you're into steel books and you're, if you're into exclusivity on the on the hilt, then this is your jam, right? This is and I know I know a couple of folks who have pulled the trigger on it already, right? Ugh. Not my that's jam, tough, man. Yeah, that's really tough. I, I can't I couldn't play the game if I wanted to, right? Because I'm not going to buy a PS5 just for this. But, I was saber uh, shopping yesterday, and I mean, like, you can get something so much better than this for two hundred bucks. You know, I guess it comes with a game for sure, and then the case. So maybe it's not—it's not a bad deal. But I don't know what the electronics are like in the saber. They're probably fucking garbage. 
It's it's a it's a Galaxy's Edge Legacy Hilt. That's okay. All then yeah, is. they're absolutely horrible. All the electronics are, are terrible. That's the reason why the blades are compatible. This is just it's just them spinning it out. I want to see the people out. on Twitter who were like, "Fucking Star Wars fans want nothing but pew pew and lightsabers," and then they spent three hundred bucks on this like that. No problem, all day. Yeah, and, and my thing about it is, it'll it'll I, you will watch how we'll watch how long will it take before this hilt in the box shows up in parks? How, how many days do you think it'll be after March seventeenth? Right. <laughs> well, it depends on how many people actually pre-order this. We'll see, but this Why? this this will show this will show up in the parks yeah. guaranteed because the the Cal Castus saber that they did put into the parks sold through amazingly fast. Yeah, did you see how thick it was? It's a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be. You just love playing that clip. It's right? huge, <laughs> dude. And I just went back and I looked again this this last time that i went to disney because i was like maybe i was being too harsh maybe it was just a little too you know aggressive and i'm mad at disney and i went and i looked at it and like no they are chode sabers 1000 percent the they're... freaking sleek emperor palpatine saber that should be about you know uh, yay big is like this big it's a fucking chimichanga it's well they're, a chimichanga. they're they're display sabers right they're not designed for they have to look good to display them. Well, look yeah, at but all those you, sexy, slim little yeah, buddies but if up there. If you're putting those, if you're putting the legacy, any of the Galaxy's Edge sabers into a display case where no one's going to touch them or look at, I mean, you know what I mean? They're, they're that's why I say they're display, they're display no, sabers. No, they're like Lizzo size sabers. They're ridiculous. And if you pull one out and hold on to it, you're like, you're starting to feel jealous. You're like, that really feels the hand. You know what I mean? <laughs> my, my biggest issue with what they've done with this, I would love to do the saber building experience and not buy the saber, right? Like when you do the Harry Potter equivalent, the wand, the, the selecting the wand experience. All of Anders you know, that, or something, yeah. Yeah, you don't have to buy the wand, right? You know, there's a whole shtick behind it and the wand chooses you, blah, blah, blah. You don't have, you're, you're not obligated, right? Of course, on the, on the Galaxy's Edge Star Wars equivalent, you've bought into it right yeah. you're, you're buying that saber right and everyone's like the experience is so cool but i'm like i don't i don't want the saber right i just i just want to go for the experience this is the only one and i'll bring it up because she said it this is the only one that kind of made sense that's the Luke, the Luke one, saber right? yeah. yeah this is the only one that even makes a little bit of sense but if you even want to stick a blade in it or do anything with it you have to change this head out to like this fat disgusting fucking weird and then you turn it on and it's not even an, a, a smooth ignition it's like pop 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 it, it goes up in levels and like how how do you that's so, why that, this is exactly the reason, blade. this is exactly the reason why i say they're display savers right there's they're, they're not they're not thought through enough for actual use yeah you feeling all right take it easy Drink some oh, water. Yaddy. Listen to your boy's uh, grift about some Star Wars. X-Wing is definitely an expert on lightsaber sizes since he's handled a bunch. I have. I've handled a lot of lightsabers. All kinds of different sizes and girths and lengths. Yeah. So do we want to talk about the Bad Batch season <laughs> 2 at all or not? You don't want to talk Bad Batch? We can talk about it. I, I'm just like, eh. There were some cool things in the trailer, though. All right, fine. I'll pull it up. They were. I have to go to Fiji. That was dope. All right. I would have loved it if it was actually Scarif, right? It's almost like maybe they're on Scarif. I'm like, they're not. But I was like, that would be cool. I mean, if they were. Why? Why would it be cool, Matt? Because there's continuity, dude. Right? It shows things are, you know, because why? Do I have to think that the Lego summer vacation was the, the scare <laughs> do you want to see more watch? tattooing it's continuity bro fuck you <laughs> <laughs> all right here we go so we're on fiji or madagascar one of the two. Oh, here let me kill the music hold up though i'm excited for more animation yeah you're gonna get it for sure um 
We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to watch it. I'm not going to do watch parties, but. Go, 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 go. We went over. Any comments? The crabs? <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about the crabs. Like, what does he I want mean, me to do? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. I played a lot of Skyrim. You know, I don't know. Go, go. I, I have no favorite reference to crabs. I got the package, didn't I? We need a pickup. Hang on. Grab the light. So, so for me, the more interesting part of that sequence is what's the package? What were they possibly getting in this place? <laughs> Mario Kart. <laughs> So again, my mind goes to okay, what's the package, right? What was what was their reason for being in this tropical location, right? Because obviously we didn't see that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All the I don't know. Maybe that's I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Grab the light. <laughs> She's such a badass, bro. She has become a badass. Isn't that nice? Not a whiny bitch anymore. She's a badass. That's cool. They got the they got the noise right. You have to like that. You have to like that. I'm telling you, I hear it, and I still I like I go from six to midnight when I hear that. So this is the top team. Wanda Sykes. If I if I thought to myself. As who I live I, and breathe, who would, I never, who would I never expect in any Star Wars property ever? Wanda Sykes. Wanda Sykes, pretty high on the list. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty high on the list. I hope I hope her husband shows up and it's Dave Chappelle. I, I hope she's not telling like, What's jokes. up, motherfuckers? We in I Star hope there's Wars. No jokes. I hope there's no Wanda Sykes jokes in the show. The road clones on the run from the Empire, huh? Who's Hello. How you? She's How nasally, juicy. dude. Has she been hitting the booger sugar? Like she's, <laughs> she's nasally in this. Hello. How juicy. The Empire's growing stronger. There's Rampart. It's Rampart, right? I, I do Rampart. like the Ralph McQuarrie stormtroopers. Yeah, they they did a good job on the armor, didn't they? Yeah. We should be doing more. This mech thing is strange. I will What's admit. Why is the mech thing? What is this? It's a giant mech. I can see that clearly. Yeah. What is it? Though? It's a giant mech. Okay. Came out of that mountain somehow. It sure did. Yeah. Is that is that what's going to come out of Mount Tantus? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> so it's got, two, it's got two red eyes. It's Kathleen Kennedy in her final form. <laughs> <laughs> in your thumbnail, you're gonna pay like, your first bad batch is gonna be this motherfucker in a thumbnail. I, I see it now. <laughs> uh, dude, that's what I was thinking. This is totally a, a complete breath of the wild type like boss, like a boss. See, it's so funny because you all have like a frame of reference I don't have. I'm, I'm looking at it, and and the the um, the audio guy who sounds like a clone, by the way, the audio guy on Disney Plus that did this trailer sounds like a, a clone trooper. Yeah, like, a giant mech appears. I'm like, giant fucking what? <laughs> Where the fuck did this giant come mech? From? Yeah, what? I mean, it's um maybe this is a crossover with Zelda. You know, you never know. <laughs> wow. I'm trying to see if glimpse anything else on that thing but no you want to really be free then so this is this heist. and she's so, back fucking sit is yeah, back we're, we're at Paramount's, okay so they're in a star destroyer under construction and they're stealing something obviously so it, it gave me that that star pathy vibes right they're they're right. In, the this star is path the, unit this heist is, this is the star destroyer under construction um and so I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. I like, what are they stealing? You know. Well, there's one good episode. Really, be free, then pull off this heist, and you can have a future. That's the, this is the Star Destroyer. This is that's the Star Destroyer under construction. It looks like a Venator. Mm -mm. Apparently, it's supposed to be a Star Destroyer, but I don't know if that's like the bridge portion. Just the bridge portion they're constructing. I'm gonna drop it. I don't know. 
Rumors are more and more clones have been questioning the old. And that you saw them there, or they're at yeah, the, it was the, the wall, wall of remembrance, of remembrance. Which is on Coruscant, so that's cool, right? Yeah. Been questioning the order. Then they're traitors like the Jedi. And this is Kashyyyk, right? So these are the trans oceans. They're 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 flame throwing Kashyyyk on Kashyyyk. Right, so this is playing into the whole Wookiees and Trandoshans hate each other, etc. This is they're they're playing into that here. What do you think on this? Animation beats live action. So for me, the, the how do I say it? Right, they they have a better opportunity to tell more well-developed stories it seems like and or maybe an exception right but generally speaking on an animation because the animation they can do that right they can get that out there so the story story they're really focusing on it right but i i i still for me as the old fart right i still resonate more with real people acting in in what I would consider to be more real world situations. So obviously live action. It's not that I, I love, I love cartoons. I, I don't think of this as cartoons though. Like earlier today on EBN or someone's like cartoons. I'm like, there's a difference between adult animation, even though I know it says parents later and we can talk about that. I was going to, that's the first thing I was going to say. <laughs> but that, That's a legal, that's a legal issue that we've worked ourselves in and we can talk about it. Right. But there's, to me, there's a difference between, the animation here and watching scooby-doo i'm just i'm just using another example mm -hmm. right i mean it's it's a whole different way about going on it but i don't i don't prefer animated con star wars content to live action personally i i just don't agreed uh you all gave up everything and they're using a lot of cool what you know the tanks and all that i mean mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're, this 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 is an interesting thing, right? Because when you think about the Clone Wars and the and, and how it all ended, right? I wonder what? if they're grabbing Wookiee slaves to build the Death Star. If that's what they're doing there on Kashyyyk. Wookiees did Wookiees build the Death Star? That was Geonosis. Mm -hmm. Um, but but what I'm trying to say is, remember, sorry, that's expanded universe. But yeah, nope. and Boba Fett was a slaver. Not Boba Fett was a slaver who slaved Wookiees, and that's why his ship was called Slave One. But but when we see when we see the we can't say slave one anymore it's a fire spray yeah. gunship but yeah. but we see this this tech right that's left behind from the separatists right when when they when the leadership was killed right all this stuff was left behind for people just to pick it up and start using it yeah right nobody came back and collected any of this shit right kind of so like if, in... you know what I'm just not even gonna go there not even gonna go there everything because of me we made the right choice Omega. But there are others out there who need our help. Um, what What do you think about? And I saw it in the chat also. What do you think about the yeah, repaint job on the armor? You not like a fan. Mm, I don't like it either. Yeah, not a fan. I don't think you know. And I think part of that may come from like the credit collection in the vintage series. Like they have that credit collection where they repaint everybody in weird ass colors because all they can do is repaint shit. They can never make anything new uh yeah not not really a huge fan i don't know this looks like geonosis though doesn't it uh, who need our help but did geonosis have like the crops and all that was that a ge i couldn't tell you and i always thought the only these are not gen were there more people on geonosis geonosis yeah. than the, the jittery things what sort of treachery jittery things <laughs> well, they're, they're geonosis, right? Stay back. so so this, it looks like for some reason that droid had his saber, right? He pulls that saber. That's his saber that he built in Clone Wars because it has the wooden pointing mm -hmm. like it. it has the wooden hilt, right? It has a very, but it looks like is is it not pulling it from the droid? It looks that's like a droid it for from sure. the droid yeah. side there. So somehow, but it but it somehow it looks like the droid got his saber i don't i don't i don't think i understand the context here i don't know what these are i'm going to be honest with you i've never actually seen i don't think i've ever seen this droid before 
No, I haven't. Well, somebody said that this droid resembles the J3DI droid from the Hunter's game that's coming out on mobile. But I'm like, I don't, I, I just seems like somehow they got his favor. I don't, I don't know. Does Genji have Down syndrome? Oh, come on. He looks better than the Wookiee in Acolyte, does he oh, not? I'm just saying, his eyes are a little fucked up. Huh? <laughs> so bad. I just wanted to piss off Nicky Nicky, I'm going to be honest so with bad. you. Okay, where were we? Here we are. Coruscant. Yeah, we're definitely back on Coruscant. I don't know what that creature is, but... Empire seeks to establish peace and order throughout the galaxy. Peace. And that Tony Ames is a governor. She's apparently the governor of whatever that place was. <sighs> and here we are. But notice it's it's early enough where they haven't put the cog down, right? So yep. again, this is like 18, 18 ish BBY, right? So this is still the traditional Senate. And the chamber's empty. Was never an option. Oh, that's such a good, such a good little, but right there. Mm, I like that. We'll get him for an episode like we did the last time. Shut up, Brian. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> and there's that droid again, right? Wasn't that the same droid? Oh, of course, fail, fail, got out, fail. You know, it makes us. There's Serrano, right? That's that's Duke. That was Duke's place. Just Isn't a second ago. Sereno. Sereno, yeah. Yeah, but that was that was the, the whole right there. That's Duke's. This is, this is Sereno? Yeah, that's Duke's place. You see his chair there in a second. You know. There. Oh yeah. The yeah. Yep. Makes us cool, cool, right? Hmm. Interesting. Different. Who would they be trying to save from interesting? What, what, or what were they yeah. trying to get from Duke's place? Yeah. Choices. Okay, that guy looked like he had a saber on his hip too yeah that's why i say there's a we there's some weirdness going on here with droids and sabers that i don't understand yet huh choices what do you need rex any chance i could use you for a mission parents the bad parents new season streaming january apparently they can't market direct they can't which is really weird for any company, but especially Disney, right? They can't market direct to kids anymore. There's some, there was some lawsuity thing that happened. So the way a lot of companies are getting around that is they're inserting parents in front of it as though, hey, we're not marketing to the kids, we're marketing to the parents of the kids, so they'll show it to their kids. But that's why that weird parents apparently made it into the, um, into the mix. I didn't even notice it the first time. Second it's time not, it back. wasn't on the Disney Plus version of the trailer. Oh, yeah. maybe that's why. And also on the Disney Plus version of the trailer, some of the captioning didn't name the characters, right? Like Tawny Ames and some of the rest of it that got even Gunji Growls. In the Disney Plus version of the captioning, they didn't have some of those descriptions, which I thought was weird. That is odd. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I'm going to watch it. I'll try to enjoy it the best I can. I don't see the thing is I don't really have any beef with Bad Batch. That's the thing. You know, if they were like Kenobi season two, I've already got beef going into it. You know, Book of Boba Fett season two, I've got beef going into it. I really didn't have a problem with Bad Batch season one. Um, I think they made mistakes in in doing the finale and not making the destruction of Geonosis the finale. But the the best bat the best part of Bad Batch season one was Rampart destroying Kamino. I mean, yeah, Chef's kiss. Right. And I mean, I know I liked it. I liked it for for my own reasons. Right. But I'm just talking about from a story perspective. That was amazing. Right. That was an amazing piece of story that I would never have expected to get in a cartoon. Yeah. Right. So. So so my opinion of why they're at. I like this. So. My opinion of why they're at Dooku's place is they're trying to get control. They want control of the droids, right? They want control of the leftovers, I think, right? So they're there. I think they're at Dooku's place trying to get, trying to get some of the leftovers separatists. That makes yeah. sense. But I don't know for sure. 
just a guess. Yeah, that makes sense. Oop. All right, I'm done. How are you <laughs> feeling? Right. Is that it then? Is it over? Is there anything I mean, else you wanted to talk about? Not really. I mean, I got a, I got attacked today. You know, I got attacked by drunk 3PO. It was gross. Oh. It's disgusting. Um, well, you kind of brought it on yourself, though. No, no. Come on. <laughs> okay. That was it. I think I'm done. All right. Well, we had over 40 people that have stuck with us this whole time. So let's thank them for sticking it out again. Yeah. I only, I I only had one or two rants. So I did pretty well. Well, I appreciate everybody being here, and especially for for you know Matt coming back. It's been far too long since we've had a a, a late night stream. So I appreciate everybody being here and and, and sticking with us. Um, I I did. What are we gonna do for like the next couple weeks? Oh, something will come up. You know what I really want to do? I know it's not Star Wars, but I'm going to see Avatar. Oh, we never weekend. talked about it. We never talked about Avatar. We could probably bang through that, like. 10 more minutes when are you going to see it uh so i can't see it during i'm not going to see it during the week but i actually took a vacation request for friday so i can go during the day because it's a three and a half hour long movie and <laughs> i mean if you get to the theater you know seven o'clock it's 11 but you know 11 30 well, you know, i have a i have a 6 30 eastern friday night i'm gonna mm. see it i am seeing an imax 3d which i hate that my amc um IMAX theater is nasty, but I'm seeing oh. it there because it's the only one that's it, it's because I want to have that experience, the big screen, the 3D and all that. How much? So how? here's a question for you. How much or do you think it will make as much as the first Avatar or more? What did the first Avatar make? Two billion, I think. So the first Avatar is you still, tapping something. I'm sorry. The, the first Avatar is still the the biggest grossing movie of all time. Right. The first Avatar. I think it was $2 billion, if, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. So you think the same, more, or less? What, what do I think? don't think it's going to be as much. I don't think it's going to be as much, but I think he's going to wind up in the green on the ledger. Because I think he had to make... What did he say his bottom line was to actually break even on this? Was it a billion? To break even. No, it, it's a three hundred. He, it's a. I think it's a three. I think it cost three hundred million dollars to make it. That doesn't surprise me at all. Yeah, yeah I, he's, I, like, he's easily, like, I'm going to make easily. it, but I need this money, and they're like, here you go, right? So yeah. he, he's been on record saying, I think it was inferred that it needs to make at least as much as the first one. There we go. Um, as much as the first one did out of the gate for them to break even. So if it doesn't make two billion. I don't know that they'll consider it to be profitable. Interesting. Wow. I mean, look, that's a big number to live up to. And I I don't know that it will. Um, I can tell you from what I've seen or heard from people who are out of the theater and and reviewing it or giving their like first reaction, because I don't think the embargo lifts until Tuesday on full reviews. Right. Um, I mean, it's it's the sentiment is basically like, yeah, the story is an old trope, um, much the same as Avatar One was the first one. I mean, the story is an old trope, but the way it's presented, its core family values, the visuals are absolutely gorgeous, and yeah, it's a tale as old as time, but they loved it. So, well, apparently, the, the visuals and the sound. The visuals in the last hour and the sound when they're underwater and some of the rest of it, which I was listening to Robert Meyer Burnett's, um, I re-listened re to their uh, Midnight Musings last night and, and Leal was talking about someone he knows who's in VFX. I don't know if they worked on it or not, but they got an early screening is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. And from the industry, they're like, they're like, I felt like I was underwater. Oh, that's like, so you, cool. You know, and, he, and he's like, and the visuals, he's like, He's like, I've been in this industry a long time. This this person was was recounting it. He's like, he's like, I don't know how they did that, right? And that's why I'm like, you know, you hear things like that, and folks are like, oh, you know, it's Avatar. I was like, I don't, I wouldn't bet against James Cameron, right? Yeah, and I know, bad bet. I mean, that's a that's a losing bet, right? There's a few folks that I'm like, I'm like, I don't, it's, it's James fucking Cameron. 
Right. And, and on Andy's point, right, I, my biggest issue is I do feel like they've waited a little long on a sequel. But it has they're been all a long in. time. They're well, all I in. mean, dude, spend, I would challenge you to spend one day cre- like trying to create or recreate one frame from that movie. I would challenge you to recreate one frame from that movie and see how long it takes you. No, I'm I'm with you, and it took him, you know he was working on the story. I'm not I'm not saying it wasn't I'm not saying the duration. There wasn't love involved in the duration, right? I'm just saying it's been a minute since the first Avatar was out. But I've heard other folks say that the children of a certain age, right, like in the eight to ten year old that's coming out with their family or whatever, is absolutely going to be in love with this movie. And I'm like, that's. That's the way you bring people into the franchise, right? You know, the reason I was gone, right? I was on a cruise. And I can't tell you the number of children I saw on the cruise, as much as I hate to say this, they're all ro- wearing Grogu shit, right? They, you know, the parents wanted to talk to me about Andor. The kids wanted to talk to me about Grogu, yeah. right? You know, it's it's like, it's like so as much as, as much as sometimes we get a little bit like, I'm like, the kids are how we keep these franchises alive right i think the movie is going to kill it right do i think it's going to make three billion dollars i hope so right i want to see the the theater overflowing with folks who are having a wonderful experience watching this movie you know i'm not even the biggest fan of the first avatar i love james cameron though gracious sakes i mean are you talking about a movie making legend i mean for me more you know a lot of people are calling it a popcorn movie which i'm fine with because a lot of the times, I would say definitely in modern cinema, it's tough to get like a movie movie, if that makes sense. So like All yeah. Quiet on the Western Front, probably my favorite movie of 2022, hands down. Uh, but in terms of like going and having a cinematic experience, that thrill ride, that kind of crazy, you know, like a Disney World ride kind of experience, that's all I want from Avatar. And from what I've heard, that's what it's going to give. So I'm excited you, for it. If you think back to the movies we've gotten that I would consider to be movies in all caps, right? What are we got? Ghostbusters Afterlife, amazing. Yeah, yeah was right. A good one. We got Top, Top Gun. Gun Maverick, amazing. Yeah. Those right? are and now I think we're about well. to. We're they're both pop, to me. They're both popcorn movies. Yeah. Right, and now I think we're just about to get the the trifecta. Right, we're about to get. James Cameron come back to roost, right, on a franchise that he absolutely loves, right? So I'm kind of like, I think it's going to be an amazing experience, right? I hope, it, I hope it is. And I hope it kills it too, especially because it's got very strong traditional family values. Like, there's a strong male running the family. Ew! Gross! Not, not only is there a strong male running the family, but the family is still together as a unit. Right. And, and, and not I'm not trying to no no disrespect to I, I understand Can't this is that. not my childhood right but this movie appears to be go this this is another one of those movies that seems like it should have been made in the 90s you know what I mean by that right because yeah. what we got from a movie experience and and what we were used to from a from a normal from a normal familial experience in the 90s is very different right to what we're getting not, not to mention the 80s i mean my goodness but but i'm just saying There's a whole different bag of potatoes right so so for me i'm like i hope they nail it right not because i'm you know i like everything i'm a disney show fuck it right i ju- i think this movie is really gonna be good i hope so i'm looking forward to seeing it and we'll reconvene on that when uh, when we see it yeah so so next if you want to on uh, next weekend's late night we can coordinate it and we can have an avatar discussion. Sounds good to me. All right. Everybody in the chat, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. It's been too long. I know. I'm sorry. I've had a friend with me all week, so I haven't made uh haven't been making a whole lot of content. But um uh, good to see you guys back. Thanks for being here. Risman, anything you want to say before we uh, head out? No, just again, really this is a highlight for me of, of my weeks always and just love to see everyone here again. And, and thanks for sticking with us and looking forward to the next one. It's awesome. If you guys enjoyed the stream, please drop a comment or a like before you go. It really helps out the stream. Get us a little bit more exposure and more people to yell at in the chat. All right. I love you guys. Have a good night. We'll see you later. See y'all later.